What is going on, everybody? Your boy Jeff Gamer back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And today, guys and gals, it's going to be a simple install, but this is going to be more of a in-game showcase of a mod that's been out there before. Um, I didn't mess with it because it was kind of glitchy, but we are going to try this one. I'm not sure if it's the same one or a different one, but we're going to try it anyways because I love the realism of it, and I know y'all do too, and I want to bring it to you. I want you to enjoy what I enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Go ahead and click the link down below that says traffic block mod or something. It'll be down in the tutorial link section. That will bring you to this page right here. This mod is by Night Yield. Night Yield, thank you so much for your awesome, awesome contribution to the LSPDFR world. You're absolutely amazing, man. Or woman, could be either or. Night Yield is a uh, binary name. It could be man, woman, whatever. But thank you. Thank you so much for your contribution to all of us gamers out here that love LSPDFR. All right, so you, you can read the description, but like I said, we're going to go into the game. Uh, we will mess with the I and I because I see that it is the U button, and a lot of us use the U button. If you're like me, you use it for ultimate backup. So we're going to change that button y'all okay we're gonna change that button so go ahead and click the blue download this file agree and download we want the main file 1.3 right here y'all download that it will probably download pretty quickly and maybe not yep there it goes all right so i'm gonna exit out of the web browser and uh i'm sorry i got a stuffy nose right now y'all so all right, so that's the README. We don't need to worry about that At, with this particular mod, okay? We can read it, but, um, you know, it's a pretty simple, straightforward mod. Again, this isn't really a, a, an install tutorial because it's super easy. It's more of an in-game showcase that we're going to be focusing on. So let's get to your main directory. To do that, go to your disk drive that you have your game installed through with Steam. So you're going to go to your disk drive, and you're going to hit Program Files times 86, Steam, Steam apps and common right here. You're going to see your Grand Theft Auto V folder. Okay. You don't see it with mine because I got mine on a different drive. Let me get to that drive right now. I'm going to go to my D drive and Steam library, Steam apps and common. Here's my Grand Theft Auto folders. As a matter of fact, I forgot to switch mine back from my SLRP file and i want to use my mvga file so we're going to use the mvga file i don't know what happened to my voice right there hit enter and we are going to use this file y'all all right so double click your grand theft auto v folder just like that booyah we are in the main directory front page if your page is super tight like this come on y'all loosen it up what are you doing with your life all right loosen it up just like that you want that little space right there the buffer zone buffer zone i wonder if i can add an echo to my voice right there i'm gonna try it all right so uh what do we want to do what do we want to do okay you see your plugins mods folder everything right here you're just gonna simply drag this plugins folder right into this buffer zone and drop it baby you're gonna see that plugins light up double click that double click uh tsh, 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 tsh. nope it's gonna be right here it's gonna be a plugin beautiful that is a beautiful thing right yeah so it's not in here so plugins yeah night yield so okay so right inside the plugins folder you're gonna see traffic block right here there is the i and i so let's say you don't want this mod in your game anymore you're simply gonna hold your control key you're gonna select traffic block you're gonna select night yields traffic block uh dll and traffic block pdp and do not delete that one <laughs> you're gonna want these three files right here and you're simply gonna right click and delete and boom, this mod is out of your game, all right? So if it makes your game crash, whatever, get it out just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of the WinRAR and double click the traffic block I and I right there. We're, we're trying to go fast here, y'all. We're trying to go fast here. Siren traffic stop. Now, I don't know if automatic siren cutout will affect that. We're gonna keep that on. We're gonna keep the barriers on. We're really going to change this. We're going to change the barrier menu, okay? I'm going to delete that U, and I am going to put in 
Uh, let's see. I am going to put in the... Let's do R key. Let's do... I'm going to do the R key. Right? Yes. I will do the R key. So, I'm going to put a capital R in there. Just like that, y'all. Right there. Okay? So, if, there, if you change anything in here, or you can keep it to you. See, I have Ultimate Backup hooked up to my U, so I'm going to keep it to you. If you change anything, go to File. Click Save. Exit out of that. We are all set with this. We can go back. Hit that little refresh button. Exit out of our file explorer. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the game. Whoopsie. Correction. One thing we got to do, y'all. All right? When you when you select your rage, hold your shift key down. All right? I realized this because I went into the game and I remembered I forgot something. Bring up your rage settings like this. Go to plugins and you're going to want to load all plugins. So check all and you're gonna see right there, Night Yields Traffic Block. All yours might be loaded up except for Night Yields. Go ahead and click it so that they're all loaded. Save and launch. And now, I will see you in the game. All right, everybody, so here we are in the game. And it says that you have to use your vehicle to cross the, the lanes. Now, we all know that right here in this particular stretch of road, at least it does for me, if I try to block this road off, these cars are going to go around, they're going to go on the oncoming lane, they're going to go on the middle lane, they're going to try to get around you somehow, some way. Okay? Because even though it's a two-way street right here, there's, you got the middle turning lane, you got this big shoulder right here, they will try to get around you. So, it says that you have to do it with your sirens on, right? Now, I have automatic siren cut out, so we are going to try it with that. Alright? So, let's go ahead and... Oh, we got the tint on. Hold on. I know it really doesn't matter right here, but I hate it when the tin. I hate it when uh, uh, vehicle, vehicle, vehicle mod menu. There we go. There we go. All right, let's turn that tint off. Now we got our lights on. There we go. So we're going to, we're going to block the road right here, right? We're going to turn our siren on, and we're going to hop out of the car. Now they should stay. Stay. Don't do it. All right. Okay. They're staying. I see he wanted to go around. Now, we switched it to our R key, remember? And... Or was it the E key? Was it the E key? No, it wasn't the E key. Is it Control R? Dispatching SWAT units from police headquarters. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so it did not work with the R key. That is, why didn't it work with the R key? Okay, so we we don't need SWAT. Y'all can y'all can go. Left control and R to dismiss them. That's good to know. I didn't know that left control and R brings out your SWAT team, but it's good to know now. The menu, I can't bring the menu up right now because it's set to my keybind that is not working, okay? So, if you have it set to you, um, it, it's just simply going to allow you to put down barriers instead of using your car. Barriers and cones, okay? Um, as you can see here, my car is working perfectly fine. The traffic is stopping. They're not trying to get around my car like they usually are. I should have did it before in this same spot because they will. They, you saw the truck. He was going to attempt to drive around my car. So this mod is it, this mod's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool, guys and gals. I like it. Um, I'm going to go and figure out the, a different key to add that menu. Like I said, I don't feel it's very important to put that menu in here. Um as it's you know it's just it's just to put down barriers okay um but my main thing is i wanted to show that putting your police car like that does work look at they're all in uniform and it says when you get in the car if you start driving a little bit they're not going to move right so they're not moving you have to go over 10 kilometers an hour which i believe is like 15 or 20 miles an hour right so if we start moving forward, we, st we get over that 
There they go. They're, they're going to start moving. Right? Now. Oh, that might be a way we could try it out. See, they're still there. They're still sitting there because it is still blocked off to them. Now, if we go a little bit faster. See, if we go faster, it just opened it up. Now, let's go right here. Let's, let's try blocking them without our lights or sirens on and see what happens. Look at him, he's getting close. He's edging close. They're probably gonna start getting a little uh, antsy. If they sit there a while, you can hear him. He wants to go. This guy wants to go, so let's just kind of like walk away. Yeah, look at that, see that? What a dick. What a dick. All right, so now, <laughs> Now we're going to do it with our sirens on, right? So y'all saw right there. Y'all just saw how beautifully that worked. Now let me do it up here a little. Let me do it up here a little, a little away from where we're at with them. So we're going to block the road right here. Get out of the vehicle. And he's going to stop plenty of time back. See that? Boom. He didn't come up pretty close like he did before, right? So I'm going to walk away. And he's just going to chill there. He's just going to chill there. Right? He's not trying to blow through my vehicle or anything like that. This mod is great if you have a police chase or something and you, you, you park your car in the middle of the road. No more while you're trying to get the bad guy out of the car. You're going to have... AI smashing through your car to get by. They're gonna stop if you're in the road. Okay, so awesome mod. I am gonna be putting it in my putting it in my other games. Um, night yield, good or yield night? Yep, yeah, night yield. Great job, man. Great job, man or woman. Um, I think it's absolutely awesome. It's going in all my games. I suggest you throw this in your game as well because it's only gonna you know it's only gonna you know better your game. Figure out the key bind situation. Um, don't use the R key because that's not going to work. Um, and that is going to be it for this tutorial. I just really want to do an in-game showcase. I didn't want to go too long with this tutorial. I see that I'm on like 17 minutes. so. <laughs> but it's not going to be 17 minutes to you guys. Um, I love you all so, so, so much. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Guys and gals, until next time. Be safe, be healthy, be positive. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell in your ear there. I, I want to try that echo again. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffy Gamer is out. Later, y'all.